I apologize because I haven't done any Mario Kart stuff for like a couple months now. That's so what I want to do is cover the new tour stuff. Although there's kind of rumours. It's, it's just rumours right now. Um, but there is some basis for them. Basically, the, um, we're not going to get new tours or at least new tracks uh, come the 4th anniversary, which is the 25th of September. Uh, and we'll get into that, but I, uh, since if I'm into the discussion, we'll look at the Sunday tour, which has yes, focused on a track that we've already seen, we already know about. It, it, it came out last year, of course. Gold Wiggle, pretty cool. Um, Rosalind's Ice Flood, I mean, that's been in the game in a while, but I think something out is new yet, um, of course. But there is a new track. There is an actual new one. And let me show you. There's a couple screenshots coming round for the remix of Vanilla Lake 2. Which, uh, the remix has the ones that have RMX. I don't think this game's added a new one in a while. And this actually was really cool, going into igloos and there's all penguins and stuff. You could see it in an igloo in the background for them. Wait. In one of the, the shots in that trailer, but uh, I'm going to out. And again, it's not really focused, but that's nothing new. I mean, recently there was, um, what was it, Lakeside Park, I think, that um, was that came out, but then the focus on the, the, the tour trailer was Daisy Cruiser for some reason. So, yeah. Um, but there is a discussion going on of. How long left do we have of getting new tracks? Because data mine, there's like nothing. There's like nothing data mined, to my knowledge, for like past September, right? There, there is, there is nothing left, seemingly. Um, and apparently, it's normal. I, again, I haven't really been following tour until like a year ago, but apparently, it's always been the case where data mines would know what comes next, but there's just nothing that next. Nothing that can be dated right now. Which suggests that there's no more tracks, essentially. And in day mind, we're talking about tracks and stuff. I, I'm not sure about the other situation stuff. There's clearly still a lot of characters and alts and um, car parts and all that stuff they can add, and they probably will keep adding for a long time. But as a matter of tracks, right? Um, and this is a new track, and there's a boost course pass discussion for this, technically, because we are waiting on an SNES track. It was dreaded that it would be a vanilla lake um, for a while. I think Battle's Castle 3 is now much more likely. I kind of wouldn't hate getting this version of vanilla lake. Though. I always said like the remix of vanilla lake 1 was pretty cool. This is vanilla lake 2, and I always thought the remix of vanilla lake was the second one. I... I, I did not know that, so... I always thought we already had this, but no. Like, this looks sick. The glider around the eagles. I don't know what's going on in this track. But say we do get vanilla, like, if it's this, then I'm cool with it, right? I'm, I think that's cool. Um, and Bruce Chris Pass is kind of relevant to the theory of, oh, we're getting on tracks, because the Bruce Chris Pass is ending. And... It is a weird one because we got the last city track, and this is the big rumor. People are speculating no more tracks. I think I I don't think that's actually the case. We don't have to go off. We're basically waiting for the fourth anniversary. If there's still stuff after the fourth fourth anniversary, then yeah, we're, we're, the, the the game's still going for new tracks and stuff. Um, but it's more about the city tracks because, of course. A Deluxe wanted to put them all in. Even had three in, three in one way for the past two. Because they want all the cities they made to be in. Or all the cities they're making. And now we've got the Madrid track. And it, it makes you think. Surely they're not going to make new cities then. Why would they make new city tracks. When the Boost Wars Pass has clearly been trying to preserve all this stuff. So. In, in in my opinion, I feel like it's very likely, unless we get a boost course pass two, which that's an unlikely scenario on its own. But if we don't get that, then I can't see them making 
new tracks, both cities and just new themes in general. I it wouldn't make sense to me. Um, and they cut one uh, at some point. There was an old nice track that got cut. Um, it wasn't day one for tour, but we knew there was going to be an extra one, eight deluxe. But that's been axed, it seems. So yeah, it, it's very interesting. Something with the Madrid track that was like the the final, like the final piece for like the DLC and stuff, and this game. But yeah, there's still more stuff clearly. That's what this trade has shown. And now the speculation is carrying over as well. We'll get a definitive answer at the fourth anniversary. Because the fear right now is come the fourth anniversary at the end of September, that'll be the final tour and they'll just do reruns. That doesn't mean they won't add new stuff, but it means like tracks are off the table and it'll be a repeat in a the the tour track selections from the many, many ones they have done over the past four years. How do they do it? I think that's fine. I, I, I think that's so fine because there's a ton of tracks in this game anyway. And a ton you don't get to see, like I mentioned in when looking at the trailer. Where was the Inside Show? I don't think that's been in tour in a long, long time. I think some, some of these tracks only show up like once a year. It's kind of nuts. Um, so I would not. Um, I would not mind no more tracks because this game has so many. Um, I think it would be unwise to do new tracks when the Boost Cross Pass has ended because a bigger part of Boost Cross Pass is you're preserving all that. I don't know if that's the reason they did it to preserve these uh, new tracks in tour or if that's just, oh, we might as well because we're reusing tour stuff. Um, but if that was the goal, I think you shouldn't make new ones. I, we have plenty anyway. Um, so going into this question of, oh, they might just make more night tracks, which they've shown here. Remix tracks, which they only do for the SNES one, so I won't expect that to be a theme for, like, doing more ones. Because there's still quite a few tracks that aren't in tour. A lot of tracks are in eight, but you say aren't, just aren't in tour. Um... And yeah, it, it, there's not really much. Basically, everything else data bind has all been out, except for a few things. I can't remember anything off the top of my head, but I think stuff like Honey Queen, like like, like character stuff like that. Yeah, you know, there's so like that. I don't know about tracks. I believe this is one of the same ones. I don't know what's left, um, but I know there's not much. Um, so yeah, it, it's an interesting discussion, and I don't have a clear answer right now, but I figured. I discuss it because I think it's interesting um, to see we've got a new track here, um, which has led to the belief that oh, the fourth anniversary, we'll find out. I think. But yeah, I think this track's pretty cool. <laughs> I won't mind it in a DLC. Um, tour. I, I mean, I was playing a lot of tour past few weeks, but I kind of stopped because. The ranking thing's kind of dumb because, uh, like, you get you get a high place and you rank up, but you don't want to rank up because then you get put against better players. But the rewards don't increase, so there's no incentive to rank up. So I'm probably going to let myself get ranked down for a few weeks and I'll come back, get some goodies, and then probably stop. Um, but it, it is interesting to see this game, of course, because it's so connected to Eight Deluxe as well. And you've got to think. With that DLC coming to close, Tours main content, the Tours themselves. It's kind of like, surely. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. And it wasn't really something I don't think many were thinking about until now that we've seen what will be the last City track for it looks and there's the thought of, oh. And then you look at the data mines and it's like, oh, there's nothing left to data mine. And, and, and it kind of all adds up. And then there's the anniversary coming very soon. So it kind of feels like it's leading to there just not being any new, new tracks by the end of this month. Um, but again, that is all just speculation. So let me know what you think. Um, whenever there's any information I miss. Um, I'm going to be honest track because I am actually genuinely like, very much into this track. So I might react, do a reaction video playing it. Um, again, something I want to do more, but I didn't. 
The Madrid track's pretty cool, actually. I, I, I do like that one. Um, it's it's interesting. It, it's very interesting what's, what the future of America is, because presumably, and end of the year, A Deluxe content's done with. What does that leave Tor with, right? And I feel we'll get the answer at the end of the month. And I'll probably do a video if there is an answer. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be talking about this speculation. Um... And yeah, it's just the news that there's this new track because I feel I post it because um, uh, this these screenshots come from like some Japanese like game site thing, right? Um, so pretty obscure. Like the trade did not highlight this track at all, which is weird. But yeah, new track. There's still a new track because uh, I've already seen people posting. Oh, there's no new tracks in this tour. That's are they done? But no, they're not done. There's still some things. And again, even if they do start rerunning tours, I assume they're still going to be new characters. So Gold Wiggler, that's pretty cool. I want to try and get that for sure. Although, watch it be like part of that Gold Pass thing, which no one's buying. Um, yeah, I, I, mean, I think that's it, really. Um, there's nothing everything to waffle on about. I, I, I think it's as simple as that. You gotta wait till the end of the month and then we'll get a concrete answer. But right now it is looking like we're coming to the end of new tracks at all. Because I mean there's not many there, there is a good amount of tracks to still do, and of course they have remix variants and they do trick variants and all this stuff. But like <laughs> they're probably not gonna need new tracks. I I think that's off the table. Um I enter the red tracks. Because it's not like they're making these retros for eight deluxe, of course. They can just keep doing it for tour. Um, it's not like this is all for eight deluxe. And it's not like the original plan would have been, oh, this game, we're going to make all this stuff, it's going to go get put into eight deluxe. Clearly, it was not. Yeah, it just happened. Uh, it was just good time they had all this stuff. And eight deluxe was so popular that they could just double the DLC. Um, but yeah, new tracks I feel like they wouldn't do. That's, again, still speculation. We don't have confirmation or anything. Um, but definitely keep an eye out on what's going on with tour. Um, because yeah, it is quite interesting. Um, I've seen, like, there, there, there are like, people making big leaps and stuff like this, saying stuff like, oh, the, the Bruce Fast is going to kill tour. Like, like MK tour is going to Die by the end of this year. Like, no, this, it's not going to shut down anything. Not anytime soon. It's just a matter of how much content you're doing. Because I feel like the Hack Out Devs deserve a break at this point. They've been, they've been doing a lot. Um, and you know, maybe, maybe it's time for the next Maricon. Because the, 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 the speculation, and uh, again, it's speculation. There's technically leaks. But it's leaks regarding a Switch 2, which are never credible. But, like, there's a lot of sources this time. And it, it just generally, it doesn't even need to be a leak. It just feels like it's probably around time. Late next year, there might be another Switch console. Who knows? Um, and if that's the case, then there'll be another Mario Kart. Um, because you, you need a Mario Kart for your console. So, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to uh, make fucking theories of. There's a lot of crazy shit going on in this game. Um, and it's interesting to see what will, what will happen. Um, so, yeah. We got a new track. We got a new tour. Gold Wiggler. I think the yellow pit toe. If anyone could fuck about that. Again, it's like weird stuff like that since me being brought in into the game now. Like, there's like Yoshi and Vertical is missing, and they're only putting them in now. Kind of strange. Um, but yeah, it, it is interesting, to say the least. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.